I know how depressing and exercise derailing a lower body injury can be, especially if you injure yourself while working out, when you're experiencing weight loss finally. But don't let an injury sabotage your workout routine. You can actually embrace it because it's, it's something that can add exercises. It can add a new dimension to your workouts. I know it sounds completely ridiculous, but it's happened to me. I had a, a really bad ankle injury and I could not work out for six months. And at first I was depressed and I gained weight and I was angry. But then I had to go to physical therapy and started doing upper body exercises to get back on track. And my body changed like it never has before. I lost weight. I started seeing muscle tone and definition in my arms. And my legs actually slimmed down. I've always had very strong, bulky, muscular legs because I was an ice skater when I was six. So ever since then, I've had these, these big muscle legs. But suddenly, I had these trim, sexy, yet still strong legs and trim and toned upper body too. So this is your upper body cardio workout that you can do in bed. So if you can't get out of bed or you just can't emotionally get out of bed, you can still get your cardio workout in. It's the best lazy chicks workout because you don't even have to put your shoes on. So this is your upper body cardio and it starts with flying. So first you're gonna engage your abs. You always wanna engage your abs when you're working out. And then as if you have wings, you're just flying like a bird. It's, you're fanning yourself. It's a great exercise for energy. Even if this is all you're gonna do, you're gonna get your blood pumping, you're gonna get your heart rate up, and you're gonna energize your body and mind. You're also going to tone your chest, your back, your shoulders, your arms. You're gonna do this for three minutes. So after you fly for three minutes, you're gonna do the bounce and circle. So one arm to the front, one to the side, bouncing the front and circling the side. This is a kundalini yoga exercise that when I first did it, I had to do it for 11 minutes and I thought my arms were gonna fall off. <sighs> you only have to do it for three. <laughs> What's great is that it does force you to pay attention. This is about concentration and consistency. And what's great about that is you can't think about the pain <laughs> that you're in because you're really focusing on bouncing that hand in front of you, circling that hand to the side. So after three minutes, you're gonna switch sides so that you get an equal workout. Bouncing the hand in front, circling the hand to the side. Three minutes on that side too. Then conductor. So as if you are conducting an orchestra, you, know, you have the, the metal or the, the wood things in your hands and you're just conducting that orchestra. They're following you. You can hear the music. It sounds lame, but it helps because you're doing this for three minutes. So you might want to have something in your head. But really open your chest. Open your heart. Get that blood pumping. You're going to feel it in your back again, in your abs, because you are engaging your abs. And also, if you can, squeeze your butt. Squeeze your butt the whole time, in fact, because then you're just adding a few extra muscles and increasing that calorie burn. So three minutes of conducting, then speed bag. So as if you have a speed bag in front of you and you're trying to box it as hard and fast as you can, it's a great one to get that heart rate up. Oh wow, you're gonna speed bag box forward for three minutes, then switch. So your fists are coming towards your face. Try not to sock yourself in the face. <laughs> and you're gonna box towards you for three minutes. Then hand bicycle. So bring your fists out and as if you have your hands on bicycle pedals, you're just gonna pedal. You're gonna pedal as fast as you can. You're trying to get up the hill. I feel like, I feel like a spinning instructor with all of these images I'm creating, but this is how I get through it because three minutes doing each of these exercises is a lot, but it's a great cardio. So you're biking up forward three minutes, then you're backpedaling. 
for three minutes. This is great for the top of the arms right here to get that really sexy, defined, almost a yoga arm look. So three minutes backpedaling, then shadow boxing. So this is when you're really getting out your aggression, you're getting out your anger, you are boxing someone out. You're hitting them in the face. You're hitting your injury in the face. Whatever it is that's upsetting you, box it out of your body. You're gonna box forward for a minute. Then you're gonna box up for a minute. This gets the right, right here, underneath your shoulder blades. Then box down for a minute. This really engages the abs because you see I'm twisting my stomach. So I'm making those muscles fire in my abs, especially the obliques, the side abs right here. So shadow boxing, one minute, forward, up, and down. Then jump rope. You don't need a jump rope to get the benefits of jump roping. So you're just gonna push your elbows to your sides. You're gonna spin your hands around as if you're jumping rope. You're engaging your abs. You're really feeling this in your abs, in your chest, in your arms. You're gonna jump rope forward for three minutes, then backwards for three minutes. You will be out of breath. You will probably be sweating. So if you don't wanna do this on your bed, do it on a chair. Do it standing up if you want. But this is a great upper body cardio. Even if you don't have a lower body injury, you can still incorporate this workout into your regular workout routine because it will change your body because you're working different muscles. And in the end, it's all about you know, changing them up, making those muscles keep guessing. You change with change. So that is your upper body cardio workout in bed.